Friends, thank you so much for giving of your time to watch this short devotional message based upon the Word of God. We've been around farms this last number of days and this uh, piece of machinery behind me here is a simple seed drill. Of course, farmers use them to sow the seed in the right amounts evenly dispersed across the newly ploughed field. And it's a very important piece of machinery in agriculture and in farming, farming circles, the seed drill. Looking towards yielding a harvest, the seed drill becomes very, very important. And of course, the Bible uh, uses a lot of farming metaphors and pictures taken from agriculture and the world around us. And many times in the Word of God, we read about harvest themes and we also read about sowing and we read about reaping and we also read about seeds. Now, of course, in Bible times, New Testament times, they didn't have machinery like farmers have today. And so the sower would have gone forth with a little bag and would have taken seed out of the bag himself and scattered it across the fields. And the Saviour uses that illustration to describe the sowing of the Word of God. In Mark's Gospel, chapter 4, the Lord told one of his great parables, Hearken, he wants people to listen. Behold, he wants people to notice. Hearken, behold, there went out a sower to sow. And it came to pass, as he sowed some, some of the seed that is, fell by the wayside, and the fowls of the air came and devoured it up. And some fell on stony ground, where it had not much earth, and immediately it sprang up, because it had no depth of earth. But when the sun was up, it was scorched, and because it had no root, it withered away. And some fell among thorns, and the thorns grew up, and choked it, and yielded no fruit. And other fell on good ground, and did yield fruit that sprang up, and increased, and brought forth some thirty, some sixty, some an hundred. And later on in Mark's Gospel, the disciples asked the Lord to explain to them the meaning of the parable of the sower. And the scripture says in verse 14 that the Lord said, The sower soweth the word. And so the parable of the sower represents not only the Saviour, but the faithful preacher of the Word of God, taking the Bible and the truths of the Word of God and the truths of the Gospel and spreading it, evangelizing, getting the seed out there. And the field is, is likened onto the world. And there's all sorts of different responses today to the sowing of the Word of God. Some falls upon the wayside where the ground is hard, and it doesn't penetrate the surface, and it has very little effect, and the fowls of the air come and they snatch away the good seed. And maybe today that's like your heart. Your heart has become hard over many, many years, and the Word of God doesn't really penetrate your heart the way it should, and the seed gets snatched away. And then others fall upon the stony ground. The soil is very shallow. The seed just gets down a little bit, because the roots don't get down deeply, they spread out quickly just underneath the, the surface and the crop seems to spring up quickly. And many people today, whenever they hear the gospel or they hear the word of God or they hear about heaven or what Christ can do for them, they maybe respond very quickly. But it's shallow, it's superficial. The seed doesn't penetrate the depths of the heart and it's all on the surface. And then whenever the sun rises up and the heat of persecution comes, it withers very quickly and there's no fruit. And then others are like the seed that falls among the thorns and the thorns are described as being the love of riches and the cares of this world. And by and by, whenever the seed begins to grow, the thorns come and they choke it and it becomes unfruitful. And many in our province are just like that. They had a profession of faith once, they seem to grow, they seem to develop, but by and by the love of this world and the love of riches and the lusts and the cares of other things strangle the seed and again there is no fruit. But then some falls upon good soil, soil that has been tilled and fertilized and broken up and plowed and it gets down deep below the surface and it maybe takes a lot longer for there to be 
evidence that the seed has germinated and is growing, but by and by it brings forth fruit, albeit in different degrees, some 30, some 60, some 100 fold. What type of hearer are you today? Hard-hearted? Make no response at all to the word of God? And this is a challenge to believers as well. And then some are very superficial, happy hearted. They gladly receive the word of God, spring up quickly, get all excited, and then wither just as quickly. And then others seem to persevere for a little bit longer, but maybe the seed of the word of God in your life has been strangled by the cares of this world, or maybe your heart is responsive and you're bringing forth fruit unto God. By their fruit, the Saviour said, ye shall know them. And the one thing that distinguished the good soil from the other types of soil was lasting fruit that remained. May God give us grace in these days to receive with meekness the engrafted word and to bring forth fruit unto God. Friends, thank you so much for your time. God bless you and we'll see you again very soon.